Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing the second type of uh, spread spectrum distribution that is we have the frequency hopping spread spectrum that is called as the FHSS. So in the previous video, we saw what was the triple S that is the direct sequence spread spectrum. So in this video, let's see uh, what this FHSS uh, does and how it works basically. So uh, in this what we have is basically it changes the transmission frequencies at a very high rate obviously it would be operating at multiple levels of frequency but during the runtime when the data transfer happens it just amplitudes all the frequencies and uh, you will not know uh, in which fashion or in which manner how the data is transmitted and so uh, there is a particular hopping pattern or a hopping sequence which is there which is followed by FHSs and so the change in the carrier frequency here is called as the hopping. Uh, like we had in D triple S, we had the chipping sequence or the chipping pattern. In this, we have this hopping, and the bandwidth here is divided into several parts called as the frequency channels, like F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, like you see in this. And it works on a pattern called as the hopping pattern or pseudo random pattern. So, uh, this pattern is generally some uh, encryption pattern which is agreed by the transmitter as well as the receiver and they mutually understand and then they accept this pattern and they decide uh, like we have to follow this pattern in order to transfer the data. Now uh, why they need to agree upon this pattern is because the data uh, should be synchronized from the both the ends uh, and then and only the data can be uh, sent in a uh, proper manner and then uh, without any interference of noise. Then we have the logic. So the logic basically is to send the data on multiple frequencies and there are two types of this frequency hopping, two variations that we have the slow hopping which is not immune to the noise. Second is the fast hopping that is we have uh, which is immune to the noise. So uh, we generally don't prefer the slow hopping but fast hopping is preferred because of uh, the immunity to the noise. Uh, then we have in slow hopping that uh, the technique is one bit is kept on one frequency and then it is shifted at regular intervals whereas in fast hopping we have one bit on all the frequencies in a time shared manner so that we can see here so uh, this is called as the slow hopping and this is the fast hopping this downside so in this you can see one bit is placed on one frequency at one time and then it is shifted later so at uh, zero is placed on fx at one time then later one is placed on fy at one time and then zero is placed on fx at another time and so it uh, happens and so it's slow hopping and it takes time but in fast hopping uh, one frequency is kept on or one bit is kept on one frequency at uh, in a time shared manner so that everything happens at a fast rate and so you appear it seems to you as a, a random fashion but there is a hopping pattern which is agreed by the receiver and the transmitter. Uh, next, uh, it needs extra hardware and precise jump sequence and so it's very costly as compared to the uh, DSSS technique. Uh, so we have this pattern, so we have the frequency slots on the Y axis and along the X axis we have the time slots and so it's uh, divided into different intervals and so uh, you can see a frequency hop pattern here. Uh, so uh, this basically uh, is summarizes the data how it's uh, being sent at one particular time like if any means uh, if you come to know the algorithm or the hopping pattern uh, then at the next time interval it would be shifted so it's uh, not very easy to crack the hop pattern and just you can decrypt the data uh, but you need to have a precise careful understanding of how the uh, frequency or how the frequency shifted at regular intervals uh, then it has got some perceived advantages like it has the noise immunity in uh, fast hopping then clarity of the data is there much more and synchronized data transfer is there since uh, it's costly and uh, more secure if hopping sequence is unknown to the others like if it's not known or what pattern it follows if that is not known to the user then uh, it becomes more secure. Uh, then the uh, limitations is the bandwidth is used is divided into uh, frequency interval so it's like uh, depends it depends on the users uh, like at what intervals or how many frequency channels it should be distributed and so uh, it just becomes a very long uh, broad category of frequencies and then you need to put everything on that and then you need to transfer the data so it's a uh, very tedious activity I would say and it's the hardware cost increases and so you have the uh, receiver and the transmitter system here so this is a transmitter so the user data in a format it's uh, passed on a modulator so there are two modulators kept here one is the modulator which just passes 
have a bandpass filter in this and then it transmits the signal which was there in the uh, original format into some sinusoidal waves and then the modulator 2 just puts the hopping uh, sequence into the frequency synthesizer and then uh, a slow pattern is obtained and then it's being sent so it transmits the data there and then at the demodulator side what uh, the accepted data is taken or the send data is taken here and demodulator 1 is uh, used and a hop sequence which is there here is exactly uh, kept or a replica is kept here and then it's applied to the frequency synthesizer to regenerate back the uh, original that is the sinusoidal data and then the demodulated signal uh, second one demodulator is used to bring back the user data so it just works in a reverse manner just the hardware cost that is this setup is costly in FHSs that is the only drawback in this FHSs technique rest all it's fine and it provides good security so well that was all regarding the FHSs technique in uh, wireless technology so hope you guys enjoyed this if you found it good to be watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching